so far to Harbor Wolf. Like it or not, for the moment, the Earth is where we make our sand. One of my least favorite aspects of flurfs and other conspiracists is the way they like to hijack science. Put simply, you don't get to pretend that you're a scientist when literally all established scientists in the universe do not accept your flawed worldview. You're not a scientist, you're a con man. Today's con man comes to us from David Emery. Thanks David, this looks promising. My lovely research assistant, Myra Vegeta, picked out a playlist from this Kyle Adams dude, and its name caused me to make audible noises of disappointment in humanity. The Flat Earth Institute of Science. Is there a more oxymoronic name excluding the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, which is not democratic, not for the people, not a republic, and not even really Korea? So the first video in this series is called The Syllabus. Seems like a good way to dip our toe, but really quickly, let's just remind ourselves what a syllabus is, shall we? If you showed up to class on the first day, the syllabus is the paper that's handed to you that explains what the course is going to consist of throughout the semester. It defines expectations and responsibilities, and could also be referred to as a lesson plan. Now I haven't watched this video yet, so now we're going to see whether or not Kyle has confused the word syllabus with the word intro. According to Dictionary.com Starting off strong. Nobody past high school starts anything ever with a dictionary definition. Maybe college film students. Science is the systematic knowledge of the physical or material world gained through observation and experimentation. Uh, sure. Close enough for government work. Here, at the Flat Earth Institute of Science, we take pride in building upon a foundation of observation. We then take our observations and draw conclusions from those observations. What? So you skipped basically the entire scientific method? What about coming up with a hypothesis based on the observation? What about designing an experiment to test that hypothesis? What about having some data points to base your conclusion on? This is all very wrong. Kyle, right off the bat, You've gotten it all wrong. Let's see how much worse it's gonna get. We then test those conclusions and make more observations, to which we draw more conclusions, which we test and make more observations, and so on and so forth. So no predictive models, no tests on those models, just a loop of observation and conclusion? Congratulations, you have described not science, whatever the fuck it is. In other words, we build line upon line and precept upon precept in a systematic, organized fashion. Dressing with your word salad? Now, take notice of the spaces between each lesson here. In between each lesson, you will find a lesson extension where a video describes or expounds upon something we just talked about. They are worth watching. So the basic correct way to do that instead of having empty rectangles would be to do something like this. There you go. Fix that for you. Here in the Flat Earth Institute of Science, we aim to keep our lessons short and to the point, each under 15 minutes long. So some extensions may go longer. Well, I do appreciate that since we all know that people like Riley, Oakley, and Globebusters all love to do two hour plus live streams that are too painful to sift through. Thanks for just delivering the hits and misses, Kyle. Mostly misses. Also note that this is a work in progress. There's a lot of information out there on the subjects we covered, and we are doing our best to stitch it together the best we can. So you're preaching facts about things that you readily admit you do not actually understand fully. Thanks for the self-debunk. Man, this guy is really doing my job for me. We understand you probably have a lot of questions. We advise you to take small bites, chew your food, and eat slowly to best understand the information at hand. 
Oh, 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 sweet summer child. You must really be new here. Please feel welcome to comment with any questions or observations you might have. The note, each comment will be reviewed before being made public due to the number of trolls. Translation, me no likey criticism, just tell me I am the smart so I can feel as handsome, famous, and good at the sex as Sir Sick is. When you teach someone that what they were taught in school was wrong, many get offended and act like you insulted their mother. Alternatively, when you teach someone that they've been fooled about an impossible conspiracy by charlatans and psychopaths, many get offended and act like you insulted their mother. Who's fat? <laughs> With that being said, we really are not trying to offend anyone. We aim to keep this a G-rated, family-friendly environment and strive to be as respectful and courteous as possible. Your comments are really appreciated. They really help us see and understand which lessons need editing and which ones need to be expounded upon. It's all of them, right? Is it all of them? I bet it's all of them. If you would like to see your comments made public, please keep them respectful, courteous, and on topic. We are also always looking for collaborators and would love to feature you and your videos if you would like to be a contributor. No, you wouldn't. You'd love to feature someone who supports your cult belief. You will never, ever share videos of mine like this. which explain more truth about flurfs than you will ever know. Welcome to the Flat Earth Institute of Science. Now, all of this does seem promising. Why? Because he's put out on record what he claims to believe in, and now it's there for everyone to see every time he contradicts himself. So let's go a step further and watch the second video in the playlist. Lesson 0 0.5, I guess, titled Cards on the Table. In the Flat Earth Institute of Science, we make a lot of claims. And in each claim, we put a card down on the table. In response to these claims, we often receive a bunch of shallow responses. The Flat Earth Institute of Science. Good one. Oh. Oh, you were serious. Sorry. Please continue. Oh, boo-hoo, it's the internet. Grow some skin to protect yourself from this harsh winter. It's only going to get worse from here. Trust me, I know. These people are complaining about our cards without playing any cards themselves. There's your problem. First off, your cards suck. Second off, our cards are the rest of the deck because the last 2,000 years have been spent proving the shape of the Earth. That's how science works. You progress forward with the knowledge of those who came before you. Thus, we come with a very, very, very stacked deck. You don't get to complain about the only card on the table. In order to play, you need to put a superior card down in order to win. Deal. Here we go. If I put a yellow cake on the table, 
no one gets to complain about the only cake on the table. What if I'm allergic to cake? Why did you bring that to my party? You know I'm allergic, Kyle. God, next time just go to Dairy Queen and get me a blizzard like I asked, jerk. Now if you had a cheesecake and brought that and put it next to my yellow cake, then we would have something to compare it to. Then you could say, this cake is better than that cake. You wouldn't even have to say anything. The cake would speak for itself. But until you actually put a cake down on the table, your words are meaningless and carry no weight. So let's see that cheesecake. I'm sorry, what? I was thinking about cheesecake. Besides, I already showed you mine. Let's do it again for posterity's sake, though. So, what's on your card exactly, Kyle? I'll continue debunking this playlist, if people want me to. Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. If you want to support me further, consider becoming a member, or a patron, or checking out my merch, or my Amazon links. Thank you, and I will see you over the curve, Space Cowboys. In a vast cosmic arena. Our imagined self-importance. The delusion that we have some...